Welcome to the shop. Today I'm bringing you a review of the Weather B Vanguard Range Certified and 300 Winchester Magnum. Let's start off with the specs of the rifle. Weight out of the box is 7 3 quarter pounds without scope, scope rings, or bipod. Weight in current configuration is 10 1 quarter pounds as you see it currently configured. Overall length of the rifle is 44 and a half inches. The uh, magazine is an internal magazine with a capacity of 3 plus 1 in the chamber. Uh, it has a 24 inch number 2 contour cold hammer forged barrel, a 1 in 10 twist. The length of pull is 13 and 5 8 inches. Drop at the comb is 5 8 of an inch. Drop at the heel is 1 inch. The rifle has a composite Monte Carlo raised cheek piece and the race section is 3 8 of an inch tall. It has black spiderweb accents that are raised off the stock. The action of the stock is pillow bedded and the stock comes with two pressure points applying pressure to the barrel at the very front. There is a lever just forward of the trigger that uh, allows you to open the bottom of the internal magazine so you can clear the rifle of any live ammunition if need be. One of the problems that I have with this rifle is that the bottom plate does not want to lock into place. You have to apply sideways pressure to get it to lock fully. As you can see, the bottom of the magazine plate has the range certified sub MOA uh, certification logo on it. The rifle has a two position safety on the right hand side and the bolt release is on the left hand side of the rifle. When you buy the range certified series of rifles, it comes with a sub MOA certification including what ammunition was used during testing as well as chronograph information, a gun lock and that's it. No scope rings are included. This particular rifle came certified at 0.73 MOA. I've had this rifle for about two years and I've fired just under 700 rounds through it. My ammunition of choice is my own reloaded ammunition using a Hornady ELD 200 grain bullet with IMR 7828 gunpowder fired at a muscle velocity of 2738 feet per second. The rifle does below one half MOA on my reloads. The rifle has an amazing trigger with a clean break right around three pounds. I used a lineman trigger pull gauge and the 10 pull average was 2 pounds 15.4 ounces with a high of 3 pounds 4 ounces and a low of uh, 2 pounds 14 ounces. MSRP for this rifle is $1,199 and if I remember correctly I paid just under $1,200 out the door when I bought mine including taxes. Weatherby offers the Vanguard range certified in 10 different calibers, 243 Winchester, 2506 Remington. 257 Weatherby Magnum, 270 Winchester, 7mm Remington Magnum, 308 Winchester, 30 out 6 Springfield, 300 Weatherby Magnum, 6.5 Cratmore, and 300 Win Mag. Configured as you see it before you, it has tally lightweight medium height 1P scope rings, a Bushnell LRHS 6224X by 50mm scope with 30mm scope tube with the G2 rectangle and a cheap $60 bipod that I can't remember the brand of. Out of the box this rifle is a great highly accurate hunting rifle although a bit heavy for my taste especially after putting a scope on it. It however isn't a particularly great range rifle right out of the box if you intend to shoot several shots back to back without letting the rifle cool down. From the factory Weatherby does not ship this rifle with a free floated barrel. The stock comes with two pressure points that contact the barrel which causes your shots to stream vertically as the barrel heats up. Really not an issue for a hunting rifle where you may shoot one or two rounds in quick succession or for target shooting if you let the rifle cool down between shots. I sanded the pressure points down and fully free floated my barrel because I mainly use it for target shooting at the range. Let's talk recoil. This is an uncompensated 300 Win Max so you can expect to get a nice kick in the shoulder when fired. I tend to have a high tolerance for recoil so I generally don't have an issue until I get to 25-ish rounds fired when I'm at the range. The recoil pad does a pretty good job absorbing some of the recoil, but in the end, recoil is subjective. I've taken people to the range that didn't want to fire the rifle anymore after one to three rounds with my 208 grain reloads, which tend to kick a lot more than, let's say, a 180 grain bullet. While I've taken other people out that fire 20 to 30 rounds before their shoulders set no more. It really depends on you, and I highly recommend you go out and shoot the caliber you're considering before committing to a rifle, especially if you're considering a magnum caliber. Reloaders beware, 
If you like loading to the lance of the barrel, the internal magazine only allows for a maximum overall length of 3.425 inches. All the factory ammo I've tried fits just fine into the magazine, however my reloads are an overall length of 3.592 inches, which effectively turns this rifle into a single loader. I never tried loading to factory spec, so I cannot speak on how well it would do with uh, factory spec loaded reloads. I've always gotten the best performance out of my rifles by leveling close to the lance of the barrel. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button and comment below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos.